Hi, I'm Carl. I'm a small church pastor. And today I'm in the top right hand corner instead of the bottom right hand corner because, well, if I was in the bottom right hand corner, this would get in the way in the way pretty soon. So anyway, what I want to do today is I want to show you how to use a tool on Facebook that you may not have been aware that was even possible, partially because it's a fairly new tool, but it's really helpful. Here's the idea. Have you ever thought, you know, I'd like to post something on Facebook ahead of time so that I don't have to worry about it later. As an example, as busy pastors, imagine that you've got Sunday service coming at nine o'clock on Sunday morning, and you've put out a couple of Facebook notices about it, but you'd like to have like a 15 minute notice ahead of time. Hey, we're about to go into service. You know, come on over if you haven't gotten out of bed yet, kind of a thing. Well, but at 15 minutes before the service time, you know, you're going to be busy doing a lot of pastoring stuff. So you don't want to bother with posting something on Facebook at that time. You can now schedule that days before and set the timing of 15 minutes before the service time or any time you want. So if you want something to come out at a time that you're not going to be able to be on Facebook to put it out, you can schedule it in advance. It's a really helpful tool. Now, let me walk you through how to do it because it's really simple. First of all, this is my personal page. You can tell because of my gorgeous grandkids here, my beautiful wife. So if I click here, this is what you will normally get. And you've done this before. If you've been on Facebook, you can add a photo, you can add a location, you can add a video, you can add your own text. You cannot schedule from here. So you can't do this on your personal page. That's important to note but you can do it on a page you manage for a group. So I'm going to go down. Here's my church page, but I'm not going to do it there for now because somebody else in the church on the team sees that I'm scheduling this. They may wonder what's happening. So I'm going to take my own ministry page. It's the same kind of thing for your church page. Now I'm going to go over to create posts just like normal. But at the bottom, it gives an option that it didn't used to give before. And that's this. This post scheduling is available in publishing tools. So if I click on publishing tools, instead of writing something in there, click on publishing tools first. It now brings up a couple options. And if you go there, when it, oh, there we go. First option that it gives me what I want, want to do is I'm going to create a post. Okay. Now this shows you ones that I've previously scheduled. So you get an idea of later on how it will line up, but I'm going to click on create post. And then when I get there, I can put text in here. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Let me go and take some text that I've already created. You can just type it straight in or you can copy and paste it. It's up to you. And here's my text. It's, you know, 15 minutes, you know, I'm going to, so I'm going to put it 15 minutes before the service. Okay. Today we start an all new series, Life Interrupted. It's about the interruptions in Jesus' life and how he didn't see them as interruptions, but how he dealt with them. So I want to add a photo because it goes along with the series. So I'm going to add photo. I'm going to pick up the photo from the series, click there. And in this box here, it shows you exactly how it's going to look on your page. So it's going to show just like this with your text and with your photo. Now I go down here to publish, but I click the down arrow. I click schedule post. And then it gives me the date. Today is April the 7th, but, but when I click on there, it gives me the calendar so I can see, oh, Sunday is going to be the 11th. So let's click on the 11th because I want it to come out on Sunday. 15 minutes before service time, which for us is 9 a.m. So I want to do it 8.45 a.m. So I go there, I click change this to 8.45, and I go to click on the p.m. I just click the a and it changes to a.m. And then I click save. And now I want to schedule the post for that. So I click on schedule the post. And here it shows that it's scheduled for this time. At this point, I can now go back into this page. I can click on it and I can edit it. And it shows over here the preview. I can click here and it has, gives me the option to delete it or to edit the post or other options, turn off notifications. But the two main things, either later on you decide you don't want to or you, you misspelled it or you want to change your picture, you can do whatever you want. But now it's set to go. The other thing that this gives you an option to do, and let me show you this by creating another post. Let's go, now go create post. Yes, I've got one post already set, but I can put multiple posts in ahead, uh, ahead in advance. So I'm going to go in and what I want to do is this is what I do for my articles. For instance, if I write an article and maybe I, I, I've finished it late at night and I want it to go out first thing the next morning. So what I do is I go to the article. So here's an article that I wrote recently. I'm going to go up here and copy the URL, go back here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link down here. See link preview, enter the link. I'm going to paste the link here. And up here, I'm going to write some text. So I'm going to go into the article right now and let me grab the text from the first um, part of it here. Okay, just the first paragraph of it. Bring it over. I'm going to put it in the text. Paste it. And now over here, 
it's going to show right here what it's, so what it does is it automatically takes the picture that's that belongs to the article it gives you the title here it gives my uh, preview text over here and now I can say hey let's publish it first thing tomorrow morning so again walk you through it one more time click the down arrow click schedule post today's April 7th I want it to go out on April 8th first thing in the morning so let's make it 7 a.m. instead of 106 p.m. which it's already set to because that's the time I'm doing this so 706 a.m. good enough tomorrow morning let's save it and hit schedule post all right and now it's going to show I now have it's going to, it takes a moment sometimes to come up, but you'll see this was an old one that I had done before. And uh, this is one that I just did earlier. If I hit refresh, then maybe the new one will be up and I will now have two. Let's see here. There we go. So now I've got two that are still to come. Oh, actually one that's, that's, that came out this morning. Okay. One that's going to come out, actually one that's already scheduled for tomorrow, a podcast that I was on recently. And here's one that's all going to come out tomorrow. I'll delete later. So because I'm, this is uh, for illustration purposes and one that's going to come out on Sunday, you can add as many as you want. You can go back in later. You can edit them to your heart's desire, but now they will come out at the time you want them to come out without you having to be there to actually do it. This is really helpful for busy pastors like us. I hope it helps you. If you want more how-to videos like this, feel free to subscribe either to the YouTube channel or to carlvaders.com. Thanks. We'll see you next time.